In this video, we are going to create the cover design of a book using the Notion Press DIY cover design tool. Creating the cover of a book may seem like a professional designer's task, and that's true when you need a specific concept illustrated. But if you have a photograph or a stock image that you want to use, and you have an idea on how you would like to use it on the cover, you can very easily use the cover design tool to create a print ready cover PDF for your book. You can also use the images that are available on the cover design tool. Now this tool can be accessed through your Notion Press account. I've already logged into my account and I've started setting up a book for publishing through the DIY mode. We've explained these steps in detail in a separate video. Here I'll be creating a cover for a fiction book titled Bright Blue Sales. I've already completed the initial steps of the setup process and we're here on the cover design tab. To enter the cover design tool, click on create online and start designing. On the left, you can see the control panel with four tabs. The first tab has templates you can use as a base to create your design. The next tab lets you add different kinds of text in your cover. The third tab lets you change the background. You could use one of these images, use a solid color, or even upload your own images. The last tab has various ornaments that you can use on the cover. Now in the middle is your design space. This is where you design the front cover of your book. The back cover and spine are automatically generated by the tool once you finish designing, so you only have to worry about making the front cover look perfect. I'm going to start by selecting a layout that I like. Let's scroll down and find one that suits the book. I like this layout, so I'm going to go with that. Now, as I select an element in this layout, you can see a tab opening up on the right. This is a formatting tab. You can change the format of each element in this cover, the fonts, their alignment, color, spacing, height. When I select the image, the formatting tab allows me to change the positioning of the image, move it front or back, flip it, change the tone, brightness, contrast, and so on. So there are a lot of things that you can do here. I'm going to start by changing the title here to the actual title of the book. Okay, this book doesn't have a subtitle, so I'm going to remove that and also remove the ornaments given here. And change the author name to the actual author name in the book. I like this font, so I'm going to retain it as it is, but there are a lot of options in the formatting tab if you would like to change the font. For the background, I already have an image in mind that I would like to use, so I'm going to upload it here from the background tab. This is the image I'm going to use. I can position the image how I would like it on the cover. There it is, that looks good. I think I'll add a filter to this image and I'll go with Technicolor. Okay, I'd also like to adjust the brightness and contrast of the image. That looks pretty good. I'd like to increase the font size of the title. And that of the author name. Okay. 
okay now to see how this cover looks along with the spine and back cover click on preview and finish So that's how the full cover spread looks. The tool has automatically generated the back cover, adjusted the spine according to the number of pages in the book and attached the front cover. If you'd like to make changes to how this cover looks, you can click on close and go back to the cover design tool. But if you're happy with how the cover looks, you can click on save and continue and continue with the rest of the setup process. And that's how you use the cover design tool to create the cover of your book. It's as simple as it gets. If you'd like to learn more or if you have any queries on publishing with Notion Press, do get in touch with us and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.